Hi everyone. Happy Monday. Just trying to find me on the iPad. Hopefully I've gone right in the right spot. Hi Carrie Ann. There we go. Hi Glenda. All right. I've gone live in the right spot, which is good. Hi Elizabeth. Hi Carrie. So tonight, ladies, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I thought I would do a scrapbook page. So I don't do a lot of scrapbooking pages, but I thought I would do one. Hi, Christy, and show you a scrapbook page. So I've just got a few bits and pieces everywhere. Now I'm using the whole sand and sea suite and this stamp set tonight. I just love this set. So I've prepped a few things for it. Um, so we'll just get started. This is one of the papers in the pack. It is Sahara sand, but I am using um, the stamp, the ink pads that I'm using are crumb cake and soft suede, only because Sahara sand is a bit light. The cardstock I've used is um, Sahara, uh, a bit of mixture. It's just Sahara sand and crumb cake. So I'm just going to try and add a bit of a vintage feel. I've just torn the paper here, not cut it. Hi Beth. And I'm just, I've got a sponge dauber and adding um, some colour around the edges. This will get rid of some of the white across here from where you've torn it and just give it a bit of definition. It's really hard to do uh, 12 by 12 in a video. Thanks for sharing, Elizabeth. Um, the winner of last week's draw was Marnie. So I'll pop that in the post for you, Marnie. I still haven't sent Ray's off from the week before. Um, hopefully I'll get to that this week. I've got some class kits that I need to post if my order arrives. Hi, Tara. Hi, Megan. So to get into the draw for next week's um, Lucky Door Prize, you can like and share my video and comment and each comment gets an entry into the draw. So this is this paper and it's a bit pink. I do like um, the Blushing Bride in this colour but I'm like mm, this paper is a bit busy for me. It is raining there. Elizabeth, it has been raining quite a bit here, actually. So, we've had quite a lot of rain this afternoon. Hi, Sharon. I'm doing a scrapbook page tonight, Megan. Something a bit different. Because Sharon and Vicky have inspired me. I did, Sharon runs a, um, Sharon and Vicky both run a, um, scrapbook tutorial group where you can purchase and it's available to demonstrators as well where they give you four scrapbook tutorials in a month and it's I think it's $15 a month or something they had a special last year where you bought three months and got one month free and that's what I signed up for um, and since then I've been doing quite a few scrapbook pages because I've always found it difficult to do scrapbook pages and I started off scrapbooking and then moved to card making because I would sit here for hours scrap trying to scrapbook with photos and trying to match the 
layout or the colors to photos and I'd get so annoyed with it that I'd just throw it all away and wouldn't do it. But what I've been doing with Sharon and Vicky is you just do the layout and don't worry about the photos and you add photos later. So I've got my love of scrapbooking back at the moment so I thought I'd share something. So if you're interested and you get a bit stuck like I did, just look Sharon or Vicky up. And um, they do the scrapbooking um, tutorials each month. But it is a bit harder to show it on a um, screen. So we'll see. And yes, I'm back to using tape, but I'm only using tape for the scrapbook tutorial because it uses quite a lot of seal with the 12 by 12 layers. So I want to get rid of this tape first. So this piece is cut at six inches to get the most. So I'll show you the other piece that I did, the other page that I did earlier today. Um, and then I have had to use the page page that I just um, uh, inked up. Um, I have had to use both pages of that in the paper pack, whereas this is just one page because this is more than six inches. So I now only have a, a scrap of this left. But that's okay. So do any of you ladies actually scrapbook? I know Sharon, you do. I even went through some of um, Hunter's kindy photos today and cut them down. Let's do it. That's nice, Megan. Um, because they're eight by ten, some of the kindy photos, and I just think they're too big to scrapbook. So I had to trim some of them down. So I'm just gonna flip this page over and line that up. I've just, oh, hi Marie. That's nice, I don't have, very many um, ladies at scrapbook. So, and I just, I prefer cards because I just sit there and I can, in the same time that I would sit there and do a page, because I'd be staring at photos and whatever, I could get um, like 10 cards made in that same time. So, I just don't do it very often. These are mounts. Um, I like to double mount, double mount my um, photo um, place cards. So this one is three by five. And I don't have photos for this, but we are going away next weekend. And I am determined to take photos because I'm notorious for doing fun activities and not taking photos to record it. Oh, lovely, Megan. Hope they're playing nicely. Um, so I thought I'd do a layout in preparation for our trip away next week. So these two are up here for... Uh, three by fives and these are four by fives inches obviously I don't work in centimeters even though I'm in Brisbane I just find it too difficult And this is my most, hi Sue, my most favorite is Sweet from the mini catalog. So I've been doing a few things with it. 
and thought a scrapbook layout would be fabulous to show. So I actually did that that way on the other page. Now I've got some of this um, braided trim that we've got. It comes like this, which is quite thin, and I've pulled it apart. And so you need to cut obviously more than 12 inches because by doing this, it's going to um, shorten the length. But you can see it and I just really like the impact that that has. And if it's too much, you just pull it. And then I'll just do this for a little bit. I did most of it because I knew this would be, I think this is the most time consuming part of my layout. And then once you've kind of done that, if you get bits that are a bit too sticky outy, I kind of just pull them back in or pull out other bits to make it a bit even. But you just want to see the, the fibers in this and just separate them. And then you have that instead. So, I kind of just lay things out where I think they're gonna go. Like I stick the back papers down, lay things out where I think they're gonna go and then see where they are. Now I'm just gonna move these cause I've also got some of these um, these are the postage stamp um, punch outs that I've done. And so we're gonna do some stamping and I just wanna stamp on this because you won't really tell and you can just ink it up a bit and nobody will know. So that one on there and that. So I'm using um, this little Fanny image here or see what the image and the little dots So the dots You can just kind of stamp Randomly we just get rid of that Hi Debbie and kind of just stamp Here there and everywhere Some of these will be covered up, so don't stress. Just to give it a bit more thing in there. Hi, Julie. Nice of you to have internet back. You can watch me now. I'm doing a scrapbook page tonight for those just joining. I don't often do scrapbook pages, but I thought I'd do something different. And then on these um, these label bits that we want, I just want to stamp. And if it stamps onto the side there like that little bit, I'm not concerned. Because it's just going to add a bit more character to the, the page, just little bits. Just stamping it in each of the corners. Okay, so that's that, and then the numbers. Now I'm gonna do the numbers this way. Right, 
right, and then I'm going to add the dots to these as well. So. And like I said, it doesn't really matter if you get some onto the background page underneath because you're going to cover most of it, but I just think it adds a bit, bit more depth and texture. You're stamping straight. Yes, I'm stamping straight onto my page. Gives it a bit more depth and depth and texture. With those. And then I'm going to ink around the edges of them. I'm not going to add any new ink, uh, just what is already here. onto the dauber. So this will end up being the title of my page. I've already done a bit of pre-cutting. It's been hot here too, um, Julie. We've had the air on most of the day and then it's we've had a massive lot of rain come through this afternoon that cooled it down a little bit. But um, So that's gonna free up that. Now these two I stamped this way are for my numbers because I'm going to have that there I'm just going to stick my numbers on um, with glue dots you can use wet glue if you like but if those of you that have been following me for a long time wet glue and I are not friends so I do not use it very often at all. I will usually use glue dots or seal. So where the glue dot is a bit bigger than the number or the letter when I put them on, I'm just rolling it behind them. So those of you that scrapbook, do you scrapbook to the picture or do you scrapbook to the layout and then just add a picture that works? Oh no. Hopefully it's just the internet, Elizabeth. Might be all the rain. All right, stick those on. And then I've got these letters and we're gonna do it this way. You have an Audi on. Oh, I've still got the air on, um, but it did get a look. A lot colder you use the photo as a guide see I get stuck if I do that Glenda and I started that because I pulled out all hunters daycare photos today the professional ones we got going okay I'm gonna do this and nothing happened but I did the other layout this yeah I, I find I'm more productive if I do it that way 
I should find my photo and then create, I would find my photo and then create the layout, but since doing tutorials I've been creating the layout and adding the photos. It's much easier doing it that way, Sharon, and you've inspired me to um, get back into it from doing those tutorials because I would get so caught up in trying to use the photos and I'd sit here for hours and nothing would happen. And look at me now, I'm creating a page for next weekend. I haven't even got photos for it yet. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? All right, last one. Yeah, I use sketches a lot and I use um, sketches for my cards as well if I get stuck a bit. Colour schemes to pictures are most of yours, Kerry. Oh. See, I get stuck doing that. I'd love to because I've got some really nice photos that need to be done. All right, I'm gonna stick dimensionals on the back of these. Most of my scrapbook pages are for landscape holidays. Oh, that would make it a little bit easier, Kerry. Know that I've seen any of your scrapbook pages, Kerry. Okay, so those ones are done. Now this one I wanted to stamp a sentiment greeting thing. And on my other page I've already used the friendship one. Whoops. So this one I want to use the unique one, which is this one. So on the other page, oh, I've got ink everywhere. I used friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. This one is you are unique and completely amazing. So glad to see you scrapbooking more. Oh, it's something different and I just like um, showcasing out you can use the stamps for other things as well but it's nice to get back into it actually Sharon so I've got you and Vicky to thank me thank for that all right so that only just fits on there just 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 but that's all right I didn't measure that before I had in my head what I wanted. That's okay. So, now we need to I think we might do this. Well, I'm glad. Ah, oh, thank you, Sharon. It's good. Trip there, that down there. 2021. There. And you kind of, one of the things Sharon said to me was you stick, you kind of, Put your layout but don't stick too much down that way you can change it and that's kind of what I'm doing here because I've got now part of this set is that you've got the um, 
the die cut pieces and the embossing folder. So what I've done is just die cut in the seaside spray and the um, Sahara sand. And you've got the shells. So then what you can do is you can cut the and separate the pieces because they're just when I like if you only had one photo on this page it would be fine but when you've got a few photos on this page that you want to display these shells are quite big that you don't want them all in one one area So I'm just going to cut these bits and they're just really easy. You kind of just follow the, the embossing folder lines around. So then I want like that piece and there and maybe some more blue coral I don't think there's any real right or wrong way of doing this you kind of just need to w see what works for you I just want another blue piece here to break up that so you can kind of see that they're two different things and then I'd probably stick that there and then because I've got bits joining over here, I kind of want something there holding that a bit. So I do have a starfish, but that's not going to be enough. I'm going to, oops. And in another video, I'm talking to myself again. But this is kind of how I did it this afternoon. And I'll show you my other layout so you kind of get the idea of how these pages will work together once this one's finished. I don't want this to be too big, but I kind of want that hidden there. So that can kind of be like that. I'm pretty happy with that. So then what I did was it just went around the um, shell pieces as well. And then I did just add just a tiny bit of color over the embossing just to bring that out a little bit. And I did use the same darker color around the blue as well. You could use a seaside spray, but I didn't. Could add more paid pages to the page. Yes, so I've got another page that I did earlier today, so it'll be a double layout. And then, yes, keep making more and more. Then you kind of just got to remember how you had the, the layout then. When you start sticking them together. Add 
and I haven't added any more ink to this because I added quite a bit when we were doing the um, DSP page that I knew there'd be a lot left over here that I don't need to add more ink to this. And then I haven't done the seaweed. It's just a bit of color there. Then we kind of start sticking these down. Now I'm just going to stick that down first and all that's going to be covered so that's okay. And then the bigger piece. And I'm just using tape here. I haven't added dimensionals. I do have dimensionals on quite a few other things. And it does get a bit high up there. So, because there are quite a few layers here. And just this little piece here all right now we want dimensionals on the back of this and these postage stamp ones they're good for the um, all the edge pieces they're a great size so I've used um, three packets of, or three um, sheets of all the edges that I've been saving for some reason. Okay, they can go up there. Now these also get dimensionals. And then stick them down. So now I just need to remember to make sure I take photos next weekend. Elizabeth, you'll have to remind me. Maybe you can take the photos. <laughs> I'm terrible for taking photos or we get home from somewhere and I'm like oh, I should have taken photos I get caught up and I I like to make sure I put my phone down so that I'm not having my phone with me all the time but then I don't have photos neither can I Elizabeth very very excited All right, I'm just gonna clean up my dimensional mess over here because it's getting out of control. Now, put them, oh, I was, yeah, I need a dimensional on that. Stick him down there. And we're going to stick the title down. Is 
So hopefully this rain goes away. You could measure this if you wanted to and make sure that spacing's even. I'm just eyeballing it. And then 2021. I thought if I, um, you did miss a lot, Julie. I missed a lot when we didn't have it for that two, three weeks. I uh, had to start school on the 27th. <laughs> the cricket needs it to stop. <laughs> uh, um, I thought by putting this 2021 on, I re it means I really have to um, use this page then. And you could obviously use tape you don't have to dimension all up the, the photo mounts either, but I like it having a bit of height. Whoa, that, that dimensional flicked off somewhere. Who likes cricket? <laughs> I don't mind the the big bash. The test matches annoy annoy me, but Wednesday next week. Yeah, Wednesday next week. So we're all ready. We got we his books got delivered before Christmas. And all these uniforms are there. Adrian's got an iron on the labels of the uniforms. So I think he's going to do that tomorrow. Um, and then we don't have to label these books because it's all colour coordinated. The teachers don't trust the parents to do that, I don't think. So they just tell us to come in and drop the books off which is fabulous. You should iron it on. How do you stick the photos down? Oh, then you just stick the photos down with tape underneath or ad just adhesive. No, I don't iron. I haven't ironed in like, since I was in the shed, Tara. So we've been in this house for 12 years. I haven't ironed in that long time since I burnt my hand and burnt all my fingerprints off. I do not iron. I don't buy clothes that need ironing. I don't iron. I just don't do it. So, Adrian will iron on the labels for the school clothes. And I'm just sticking this down. You probably can't see what I'm doing because it's up too high. Um, with glue dots is the, um, the braided trim that I stretched out find it relaxing Julie what is wrong with you there is nothing relaxing about ironing when I was in the shed I lived in my parents' shed for um, three years while we were saving up money for our house and stuff. Um, I decided, because I don't cook either, I decided to cook Adrian a birthday dinner and that didn't go down very well because I burnt my whole hand and we ended up having major issues with that and all the fingerprints and like layers and layers of skin came off my hand and things. So then after that, I couldn't iron. But a couple of weeks before that, no, I think it was the year before that, I was ironing and when we were in the shed, it was so hot. I was ironing in a bikini because that was way before babies and I didn't mind wearing a bikini. Um, that then I... Um, 
caught the iron on my stomach and burnt, put a big burn across the my stomach because my big fat stomach got in the way. So don't iron in bikinis, people. Um, so two incidences in like a year put me off put me off ironing. So I just don't do it. See, I'm not the only one that doesn't iron. <laughs> um, so I've just added a bit of um, dimension there um, by not adhering that um, ribbon so, so tight. And now I'm just gonna stick this down. I'm just gonna cover this join bit here because I'm not liking that. So we just want to cover that up. Just with some more tape. We'll seal so that can go there and then this one can have a dimensional on it. And that is my page finished. So I'll show you my other page. So that is the page that I did earlier today. Oh my God, a bit of... So then this will be a double layout like this, which you cannot see on the camera. Like it's just too hard. And this is where I struggle quite a lot as to how to now photograph this. Because I'm very good at photographing cards. Not so good with the um, 12 by 12. But hopefully you enjoyed that. Oh, thanks Megan. And thank you, Sharon, for inspiring me to get back into scrapbooking. And it just goes, take a pic and share it after. Oh, yeah, I just, it's just trying to take a picture of a 12 by 12 thing because it's so big. It's hard. Um, goes to show that even if you're not a card maker, you can make really nice layouts and stuff with Stampin' Up! products. So, thank you everyone for uh, joining me tonight and um, hopefully you all have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.